Yo, what's going on? David Scammer Guy, Team Miles Inc. Back again here with another tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how I created this photo with my mood pack that I just released uh, last week. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to edit this photo from start to end up this result. So, first, what we're going to do is open up Lightroom CC. This is in Lightroom, the normal one. This is Lightroom CC. And this is the photo that we're going to be using today. So, first thing that I like to do is I like to crop in for the Instagram size that's the portrait so I go 4 by 5 to 8 by 10 and here I could just choose what parts of it I want to keep um, this is so that the image stays sharp and I don't have to use the cropping in Instagram so that looks pretty good the next thing we're gonna go to is our presets and with the presets, like I said, we're going to be using the mood pack. And we're going to be using the darkness rises preset. It's one of my favorite presets. So with this, as you can see, we already have a kind of base of how I want it. But his face is really kind of dark. And I really want his face to be kind of lit up from the light that's illuminating down on him to showcase the... Whoops. To showcase the uh, glasses and just really him to be a little bit more so let's just play around with some highlights get the highlights a bit more pull up the shadows just a bit so you can see more depth of his actual shirt um, Pull up the whites just a tiny bit. Pull down the blacks. And just raise the exposure by the switch. Okay, and that's kind of pretty basic of you know what exactly I want it to look like. And to enhance this, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna use the radial filter and I'm just gonna draw filter around his face. Let's draw a filter around his face. And with that we can now increase the amount of highlights. Just to give it just a bit more of a punch. And as you can see, the sharpness is really kind of overdoing it for me. So I'm going to down that sharpness just a bit. And that's pretty good. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to our effects tab. And we're going to come down to the sharpening. Let's take down the color noise. Just so it has, you know, a more smooth look. Take down some of the sharpening a bit more. Put in a little noise reduction. And even after that, I still would go back and play with, you know, some of the shadows. Let's take down the vibrance just a bit. So that it doesn't it doesn't look too saturated. Um, let's put the blacks a little more. And that's basically it. That's how I kind of created um, this look. And you can do a before and after. Ah, here it is. This is the before, and this is the after. Before, after. And as you can see, um, I kind of created these uh, presets so that they're not hard to edit. You know, I've used a lot of presets where 
it's been extremely hard to um, use the preset to get it to fit to what I like it to be. Um, and with the mood pack that I just released, you guys can pick that up in my South Five Star. I'm going to link that above in this video. It's really easy to get the look that you're going to be achieving for this particular video. But like I said, this is how I edit uh, most of my photos. These are the stuff that I use to edit my photos. I like to create my own preset so I can get you know a certain feel and a certain look. If you like this video, if you like this tutorial video, if you like all of these story videos and all my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We have been growing since um, last year and there has been some substantial growth to everybody who's subscribed and everybody who's um, staying and tuning into the channel. Like I really appreciate it. It helps me a long way. But yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And like I said, this has been another video and I'll see you guys in the next one.